Okay, so this is how to remove background and crop images in PowerPoint. So here we have two pictures, one uh, which has sort of a complicated background and one that has a slightly clearer background. And what we're going to do is I'll show you the result and then I'll show you the process firstly. So um, in about 10 seconds, I did a very crappy crop job. As you can see here, you can see uh, Pete's hair is pretty bad. See his face is weirdly chunky, um, whereas Thor comes out pretty clearly. Um, as an illustration of what it can look like, all of these black and white pictures started out full color with complicated backgrounds. So I sort of added uh, removed elements. If you look closely at their hair, some of them aren't great, but for the purpose that I was using it for, they worked out all right. So you can see all of these are different quality images and they sort of have different depth of field and lighting and so forth. So how we actually do it looks like this. So we'll go to our second slide. Um, and all you need to do really is double click on everything. So we're going to double click on Pete and Sia, click remove background. It does its best to sort of, uh, it, th it thinks it knows what it's doing, um, but you're going to click on it, mark areas to keep and it'll give you a little green pen and obviously if with a stylus is a lot easier and a lot more accurate but we'll do sort of a, a super quick job to give you an impression of what it looks like so that's kind of like that and that'll give us that and then obviously you can go in and zoom in a lot more accurately and go okay now we're going to take out um, exactly that line and that would be a lot more specific but obviously this is just demonstrating we don't want that going there whatever that is random background person so we've lost Sia, but we've got a pretty good coverage of what this could do or could look like. Uh, and then the other thing is just say we like this image of Thor, uh, but we are looking up here in the top right at crop. Uh, we don't like this junk for whatever reason. We don't need that anymore. Uh, this is really good for example, uh, if you want to do sort of your a screen capture of something or it will sort of add in an image. So we go new... Control M to make a new slide, and then we will crop things out. So maybe I particularly want to show people a particular particular tab. Let's say I want to say, okay, guys, you need to you need to know where this new slide is for some reason, and also that section. So we'll just crop that out, and then that's our section. We blow it up, and of course the quality won't be uh, won't be perfect, but it gives us a bit of an idea. Uh, of what cropping can do and obviously you don't want to stretch it out too far especially if you're presenting on something and then it's going to be on a really big screen but those are two little tricks within PowerPoint that I found really useful. Cheers.